What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is a pretty straight to the point topic. It's all about another way we can practice their major scale. So let's go. Cool. So like today's video title mentions, today's video is really straight to the point. Literally, just another way we can practice the major scale. I am a huge believer on understanding the major scale to the best of your ability. It's such a crucial fundamental and foundation building block on the guitar that will take you very, very far. And today's video is just that, just another way we can practice the major scale to help us expand the fretboard, you know? So for today's video, let's be in the key of G. That seems appropriate, it's pretty low on the guitar. Pretty simple. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now, one thing I really wish you all understand already is your caged shapes, because with this exercise, that will help you a lot, right? So for example, if we do a quick pass through, we have our E shape. We have our D shape. Our C shape. We have our A shape. And then finally, we have our G shape. Right, and you'll see a diagram for those as well. First off, have a really good understanding of that. Once you do, we can move into today's exercise, which is approaching the major scale, but from any one of the seven scale degrees. You know, what that would look like is something like this. So we'll take it from the top. G major from the root. G major scale from the second degree. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. G major from the third degree, from the B, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. G major scale from the fourth degree, this C, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. G major scale from the fifth degree, this D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. G major scale from the sixth degree, this E, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. And then finally, G major scale from the seventh degree, the F sharp. F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. And then once more, one octave higher in the 15th fret of the low E string, G major from the root.
right? It's a really fundamental exercise that at the beginning will kind of test you because in a perfect world, like in the demonstration, you want to start the lowest possible string, right? So in conjunction with the caged system, that will sort of make you have to identify what position should I use to make this scale practical, if that's the right word, you know? So for example, this G major from the third degree, G major scale starting from the B, I just did like this. <laughs> essentially coming out of the D shape. But I have another option that's equally as easy, and that can be used from my C shape, right? Because my lowest notes that I can approach after this root 10th fret of the A string, I can descend F sharp E, D, C, B as well. And that will look something like this. B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. You know, this D as well coming from, well, actually I can do it two different ways. I can take it from the C shape, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Or I can take it from the A shape because I can descend G, F sharp, E, D, and maybe C if I want to go a bit lower. And that can look something like this. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. You know what I mean? And so how I would approach it, or I guess the building blocks to get to that point. Understanding your major scale and the, the notes that make up that scale, right? Understanding that in the key of G, right? We have one sharp, F sharp. In the key of D, we have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, right? In the key of F, we have one flat, B flat. In the key of C, no sharps or flats, right? All the white is in the piano. Once you get an understanding of that, apply it to the guitar with maybe, maybe root position scales, like the E shapes, basic patterns that you know, and then incorporate the caged system with emphasis on what's the lowest note in that shape that I can approach. Once you get a great understanding of that and feel confident in those scale shapes, then you can quiz yourself, all right, I'm now going to do G major scale from the second degree. And like in the demonstration, you can do one octave or two octaves. Now I'm gonna do C major scale starting from, let's say, the fourth degree. Now it becomes tricky, you know, because now you just changed keys. But if you break it down, it's just C major scale starting from the fourth degree, which is F. And as you practice, if it's easier, verbalize the notes as well. You know, so the fourth degree of C, is F, but I'm not gonna take it from here. I'll take it from 
down here. And I could practice it like F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. And if I want to make it two octaves, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Then you can say, okay, I'm gonna go now A major scale, but from the seventh degree, which is G sharp. That one's pretty rudimentary, you know? Something like, Let's do now D major scale from the uh, from the fifth degree, starting from the A, and that'll be A B C sharp D E F sharp G A B C sharp D E F sharp. And slowly you sort of see the fretboard as one. And it's really fun to just quiz yourself. Do this from this degree. Do this from this degree, you know. Start out with one octave, two octaves. And then if you feel really excited, you can do three octaves. <laughs> so in conclusion, you know, it's essentially understanding major scale and now practicing the major scale from any of the seven degrees. Well, all right, guys, that's today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.